how to backup and restore a ROM on the POCO F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can backup and restore a ROM on the POCO F1. Now, of course, you do need to have an unlocked bootloader and you also need to have TWRP recovery installed. Videos for those can be found in the description of this video. Next thing, yes, you can do this even if you are running stock MIUI as well. But again, unlocked bootloader and TWRP is needed. Right now, I am running the official build of Corvus OS version 16.7. This is how my home screen looks like. And I also have FX file manager installed along with Magisk. So the device is rooted and i also have a module installed which is your audio modification library now before you ask me is root needed for this process no root is not needed for this process i am just trying to cover all the scenarios in this video of a device so you might be running a custom rom or stock me ui without root and you can back up that as well so again root is not required for this process all you need is unlock bootloader and of course twrp recovery another thing i would like to mention is that i do have my google account signed in so as you can see accounts google and if i go into security i have removed all the security measures just to be safe before i take a backup and that is what i recommend you do as well remove all your fingerprint face and lock pin and then remove any apps which are locked and then reboot your device once but why we are here is for phone is not encrypted so again after i am done backing up and restoring it the phone will still remain not encrypted that does not mean that being decrypted or being not encrypted is a requirement again i am trying to cover all the scenarios so let me just repeat myself this is the setup fx file manager is there google account is signed in device is rooted and we have a module installed let us go ahead and turn off our device and of course once the device has turned off we need to press and hold power and volume up together till you see the recovery logo again power and volume up together press and hold there it is we have the poco logo and pretty soon we should have the recovery here it is team win recovery or twrp that is the one which i am going to use in this video now let us go into backup here in these are the things which you need to select boot this is your kernel system image vendor image and data do note taking a backup of data is not going to take a backup of your pictures or videos it is only apps and application data that's it so once you have selected all these boot system image vendor image and data once that is done go ahead and say swipe to backup and before i forget right now i am backing it up to the internal storage if you have micro sd usb otg feel free to use whatever you want to so again boot system image vendor image and data and the name says over there auto generated if you tap on it you can give it a custom name as well so let us go ahead and give this a custom name so that it is easy to remember let us say corvus and then tap on the check mark on the bottom right so again you can see it has now changed to corvus and boot system image vendor image and data and then swipe to backup so as you can see backing up boot was done system image was done vendor image was also done next up you will notice it is backing up data but again as i mentioned earlier in the video backing of data do not include any files in internal storage such as pictures or downloads so again all the contents of your sd card or internal storage are not included in the backup that is something which you have to take care of explicitly what is included in data is your applications and application data so as you can see the backup is now complete next thing i am going to do is i will go into reboot and select system and once i am back in corvus os i am going to remove my google account before i flash a new rom because i'm just lazy and when i flash the new rom i don't want to you know sign back into the 
account and go through all that setup process so here it is i am back in corvus os and let me go ahead and remove my google account so the account has been removed successfully and of course standard protocol i am going to reboot my device one more time so that the changes of removing the account are saved all right so we have booted back into corvus let us now go ahead and turn off the device and then we can flash another custom rom so again standard protocol press and hold power and volume up together till you see the recovery logo so here it is we are in twrp let us go into wipe advanced wipe dalvik cache system vendor and data and then swipe to wipe once the process has finished successfully we can tap on the home button go into install now you need to flash a custom rom let us go into the download folder as you can see i do have dot os over here so let us select dot os and then swipe to confirm flash so dot os has flashed successfully and of course since my device was decrypted i have to mount vendor and then i can go into install and flash disable force encryption as well once that is done reboot system and there it is we do have the dot os boot animation on our poco f1 which means we are now booting into dot os and there it is we are on the setup screen of dot os at this point i'm not going to skip the initial setup but let us go back into our recovery so device has been turned off and standard protocol one more time press and hold power and volume up together till you see the recovery logo here it is team win twrp logo in the building and next up let us now restore our rom which was corvus os so go into wipe advanced wipe dalvik cache system vendor and data and then swipe to wipe once that is done we can tap on the home button and then we will go into restore here and you will see different folders and the one which we are interested in is the one which is corvus so select this one and you will notice everything has been populated automatically so whatever the things we backed up which was boot system data excluding your storage and vendor image all of these have been selected automatically all you need to do is say swipe to restore so as you can see everything was restored successfully again boot was restored system was restored then your data was also restored along with your vendor at this point all you need to do is say reboot system do note that flashing disable force encryption is not needed again there is no need to flash disable force encryption because we did take a backup of vendor and the file which is patched for disable force encryption is present in vendor and there it is we do have the corvus os boot animation on our poco f1 which means we are booting into the rom which we had backed up and this one should not take long here it is we are on the lock screen let us unlock the device so again fx file manager is there magisk is also there wi-fi is connected out of the box let us go into settings and account is also present go into security device is not encrypted let us open magisk and check for the module as well so go into modules here it is audio modification library module is also installed out of the box the other application which i had installed from the play store was your youtube and of course fx file manager and as you can see we did not get the initial setup screen for fx file manager which means applications and application data was restored without any issues and then if i go into twrp folder backups here is the backup folder and there it is peeps that is how you backup and restore a rom on the poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you